Hey everybody, welcome back to another Linux learning video. Today, what we're going to discuss is we're going to discuss our Linux refrigerant detection system. More specifically, we're going to discuss some of the push button functions that are available to us on this control board. First, we're going to take a look at this demo that we have put together here and identify some of the parts and pieces involved in this system. Front and center here, we have our RDS control or our refrigerant detection system control. Next to that, we've got our Linux L40 thermostat connected. Beneath that is our refrigerant detection sensor. And then along the outside of this training unit, we have some different LEDs that indicate different system outputs. This red LED would be a W1 heat demand. Blue would be a Y1 cooling demand. Yellow would be a Y1 fan demand. And G would be our blower enable. Along the bottom, we have our alarm interlock light and our zoning interlock light. The first push button function that we're going to discuss today is one that's applicable in initialization mode. If you remember from our previous videos where we discussed the modes of operation of this control, initialization happens anytime you cycle 24 volt power to the RDS board. Initialization is indicated by a flashing green light, and if you remember from that previous video, it begins a five minute pre purge cycle. Now, just like the rest of you guys, I've been out in the field and I realized that five minutes feels like 30 when you're watching it. And this push button function I'm about to show you is a good way to bypass or skip that initialization mode. To skip that five minute pre-purge and time delay, you're simply going to come up to our push button located on the top of the RDS control and you're going to push it one time. You can see that some of our LEDs turned off. Our light went to a solid green indicating we are in monitor mode and our thermostat has now begun to power up. At this point, we no longer have to wait that five minutes to begin our checkout of equipment. The next push button function that we're gonna discuss on the RDS control is one that is only available in the normal or monitor state of operation. During monitor, the thermostat has complete control and inputs and outputs can pass freely through the RDS. One thing on your initial startup or commissioning that you may want to test is making sure that your system behaves appropriately if there were to be a leak. So one of the functions of the push button that we can access in this mode is a test feature. To access the test feature, you simply come up to the push button, push and hold it for about two seconds, and this RDS will go into a simulated leak. So we'll do that right now to show what will come on and off in the system. As you can see here, just like it would during a regular mitigation, our thermostat is disabled, our heating demand ended, and we have engaged the blower on high fan speed, as well as engaged our zoning interlock. This is a test function and does not last the seven minutes that a typical mitigation does, and this can be skipped and ended by simply doing a single press of the push button when you're finished. The last push button function that we'll talk about on the RDS control is a long push reset. Uh, doing a long, roughly 10 second push on this push button will do a power reset and cycle of this control. Reasons you may want to do that are things like clearing a fault code after you've made a repair or to clear the history function of this board. So to do a reset, you're going to come up to your push button, you're going to press it, for approximately 10 seconds, after which you should see the board reset and go into initialization mode. This will conclude our video on the push button functions of the RDS, and I hope you guys learned something new that you didn't know before about this control.